Well, I got the old simplicity. It's time to go uh, mow some food plots. Uh, I got the clover. It's probably this high now. It's going to seed, so I got to get it mowed. I just topped it off with gas and it splashed everywhere because I have a rag on here to keep it from splashing out of the fuel cap. So it's all over the mower. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. Well, here it is. Uh, as you can see, I have some weeds in here. So, but the first step, I got to I got to get it mowed. I know it's still June. A lot of people don't like to mow their food plots in June with all the fawns and the turkeys, but I got to get it mowed. The food plot looked a lot better in early spring. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of weeds or anything, and it started really growing back by mid-spring, and it looked really great. And now, yeah. Uh, so maybe I can get this thing mowed. And then in a few days or so, maybe five days, I can put some slay on or some arrest on this grass. I think the simplicity can handle this. I know it's high, but I got that deck raised up almost six inches. So it looks thick, but yeah, I don't think it would be too bad. It's always a good idea to wear earplugs. I don't wear earplugs though. These are close enough. These are the kind that are kind of like earplugs, but they're not earplugs. Um, but they're like the mushy kind. So, I use these. I may have plugged her up a little bit. Oh, right in the nuts. That wasn't too bad. Cessna 208 Caravan. You gotta admit, this thing's doing a pretty good job for as high as this is. And it's pretty wet too.
no backfire. Took the old backfire solenoid out of there a couple of years ago. Well, it's very obvious that my food plot is in dire need of a lot of herbicides. Mostly a rest, and I'll get it. I think I'm gonna come back here in a couple days and mow it again when everything comes back up that I pushed over. But, uh, but after then maybe like five days after I mow it the second time, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the arrest. I have a nice pull behind sprayer. I know it looks rough, but there is clover in there, I swear. This is my winter rye. I planted this last fall. The deer love it. As soon, I mean, once it starts coming up, when it's three or four inches high, those deer hammer this stuff. And it's so easy to grow. And the best way to grow it, I know a lot of you are on that QDMA forums. All I did was spray the gly, spread the seed, and that was it. It killed off all the goldenrod and all the weeds. This stuff came up and there are hardly any weeds in here because you know how the, the winter rye helps keep the weeds at bay. This stuff shot up like crazy this spring, so it's really nice for the turkeys and the fawns and the deer that they all have the, they have all this cover. You know, this stuff's already gone to seed. And you can see the tips are starting to turn brown already. This here, I assume, I bet in three weeks, this might be all brown. But like I said, in the fall, it works great because they love that new growth. They came to this more than they came to the clover. It didn't look like that in the fall. Eh, yeah, it did. Now you can see how close that winter rye is to where I've been mowing tonight. And when I got down on the other end there, down in the woods there on the left-hand side where it's real steep, where I almost rolled a tractor over and killed myself, I looked up right before I died and I saw doe walk out of the winter rye. So I thought that would be a nice thing to see right before, I, you know, a nice deer right before I went. But I didn't die, obviously. I shut the blades off and maneuvered it out of there. But that's how thick it is in there that they could mosey on around in there don't even care. I'm done. I did have some rain there a little bit and uh, sun's back out so you know what they say. But I got one last piece to mow. It's this bad boy. Luckily I didn't run into any bees. Not yet anyhow. Let's take care of this thing. Clear. I did set this up so you can see the rainbow in the background. It's almost gone now. I really have to get back here later this week, mow it over again because you know it laid over a lot with the tires. Mow it over again and then get some rest. Maybe a few days after that, maybe a week even or so, I don't know. Hit it with the rest and then she's gonna look pretty nice. So I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.